Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Starsick. You join me as I'm just relaxing, maxing all good outside of my good old neighborhood. That's a reference even I don't fully understand to be completely honest. But Yes, we are back with another episode of Starsick. Now, in the last episode at the very end, if you stuck around like you were supposed to, you'd, you'd know that we finished our Starlight Lake, or our, our Starlight Gutter, um, depending on what, what you want to call it. And you'll also know, if you stuck around to watch the time lapse of this, you'll know I made a tiny little design tweak from the original that uh, you may or may not have noticed, and that is, I can stand in the starlight. Which is, of course, because there is blue corundum directly underneath. Now, in the original design for this place, the starlight completely filled this area up. And, to be completely honest, I'm still considering taking out the blue corundum just to stop certain things from spawning down here. However, the reason why I'm having trouble deciding on what I want to do is because adding the blue corundum uh, generates these cool little particle effects, blue and white particle effects, that sort of add, I don't know, flavor? to the otherwise quite bland liquid starlight. That aside though, time to stop looking to the past and look to the future with what we're gonna be doing today. Now the first thing that we're gonna do today is something that I've been meaning to do for a long time, but I just haven't gotten around to, and that is going into the underbelly of this place um, and just grabbing all of my old stuff, because, I mean, we've still got one ominous banner over here, we've still got the actual waystone for Ancrea down here, we've got a condenser, we've got some more banners, we've got some chests, basically just almost all of my stuff is just still trapped down here with these things. So, we're gonna move it all, but to do that, obviously because uh, chests have stuff in them, and I don't really wanna have to deal with exploding them everywhere, we are gonna have to grab ourselves the cardboard boxes that we used to move the chests around back when we were building the new Anadonia base. The only downside to that is I don't remember where I put them. Looking in backpack numero uno, I don't seem to see any cardboard boxes lying around, and if I look in the second backpack, I don't believe there'll be any in here either, because, um, like I said, I don't actually remember what happened to them. All I know is that for some reason they ended up disappearing. Okay, I guess it's time to just look through a ton of chests until we find them. Well, that's very unfortunate. None of the chests in the chest monster outside have the cardboard boxes in, so let's check the inside chests. Also, nothing. Uh, let's check the computer? This really isn't boding well. Right, well, this is the last chest I can really think to check. And since it's the last chest I can really think to check, then, to be completely honest, I think we might have to make some new ones. Which, you know, I, I say that like it's a hard thing. It's really not. It is just some sawdust. Um, I, in, a, in a square shape, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's just four sawdust in a square shape, and sawdust is very easy to get. It is just either, uh, not that one, it is either a log in a pulverizer or something that has wood in it in a pulverizer, or again, it's a log in a sawmill. And I mean, we have a sawmill right here. In fact, we have sawdust right here. Oh, I didn't even think to check. We still had some left over. That's brilliant. Right, let's go make ourselves some cardboard boxes. There we go, four cardboard boxes, absolutely lovely. Now let's go begin the moving process. Right then, so I think the first things that we should start with moving are the easiest things, the stuff that don't require cardboard boxes. So let's go with the ominous banner, and the ominous banner, and the ominous banner. And then let's grab the creeper statue. Then we can take the schematic table, one of many that we have, really. And then I believe that's everything that's down here that isn't a tile entity. So, the next ones that we're going to take, let's grab the condenser first. So, there we go, let's grab that. Oh, hello, I didn't see you in the dark there. There's a spider statue on this chest. Let's also grab this top chest here. It's a single chest. 
so it'll be less hassle because as you know if you take a double chest and put them down wrong it breaks the way the chests look then let's grab this loner chest over here and then finally we'll grab this loner chest here now i should do you all well to remember that this is just temporary until we can sort out the insides of our base however Better than keeping it down there in the dark, for now I am just going to place down all of these chests out here, okay? Again, I don't like this. It is not going to stay like this. It is just temporary, but for now I just need them somewhere that isn't down there. Right then, so back down here we should have enough for these two double chests, and then we'll have to make one last trip for the single and for the waystone. Now the funny part is I have no idea what order these chests go in, so I might accidentally end up mix matching them. Uh, but one, two, three, four. Let's see how well we did. Contestant opened door number one. We did horribly. Okay, we broke the chest. Never mind. Two, three, and four. Wait, these two are fine, but these aren't? What? Okay. And the last thing that we need to move is this chest right here, so let's pick this up, and then... It is the waystone. However, big thing here, I need to quickly take a screenshot just so I can remember how to spell Ancrea. Uh, because that's just a really hard to spell word, I'm going to be really honest with you. And since that was also the last thing that we had to do, we can now actually just seal this part back up. And we shouldn't have to go back in there for a long, long time now. And you have no idea how happy that makes me. So let's just plop this down here. Let's just give me that. There we go. And uh, yeah, everything's in order there. Last part is to decide where to put the waystone. Uh, part of me wants to put it directly in the middle. Obviously, I can't do that because we have the celestial ah. altar here. So for now, I think if we just put it in one of these corners. We'll have to find a more specific place to put it at a later date, but for now this is better than nothing. So if we just do the Starlight College... Is that how you spell college? How do you spell college? The Starlight College of A-H-N-K? No, it's not A-H-N-K. What am I thinking? It is A-N-H-K. So I got those two mixed up. And then it's R-A-E apostrophe A-H. There we go. The Starlight College of Ancrea. Or do I want to reformat this as the Ancrean College of Starlight? Or the College of Ancrea, just without the starlight? Or perhaps the uh, the Starlight Ancrea or the Ancrea Starlight, maybe, if we want to modernize the name a bit? I, I really don't know. How to format this because to be honest i don't like the way the starlight college of ancrea sounds it's too long i feel like maybe if we go the starlight of ancrea no 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 let me think about this let me think about this actually you know what nah let's just keep it as this the starlight college of ancrea just to make sure one last time that i've spelt that absolutely correctly it is a n h k r a e apostrophe a h that is a n h k r a e Apostrophe A-H. Done. There we go. The Starlight College of Ancrea. So, that is where we're going to end today's video, my friends. I'm kidding, by the way. Don't click off, please. But yeah, so, that aside, to be completely honest, I have nothing left to do. Or at least nothing that I can, you know, dedicate uh, about an hour or so to. Or actually, you know what? Tell a lie. There is a lot that I could still do, especially down here. In fact, you know what? Let's use this opportunity to show you guys what's actually down there. Because up until this point, all you've really gotten are glimpses at what's down here. So let's... That's the wrong place to dig. Let's actually just take a look in here, shall we? So directly underneath the main plaza, this is what we're looking at, okay? This area isn't really meant to be seen. It is just the internals of the base. We are are gonna do something with this eventually because all of this space you know i don't want to waste it i mean you can see we've got the uh, original uh base down here i was planning on extending this bit perhaps adding up uh, a fake wall so you can't see this bit and then turning this area into another uh part of the base but this is all coming very much later on uh we we can ignore this part for now because obviously this is like the basement of the base or rather it's the level above the basement the top floor after you've gone inside is this area here 
I knew I saw something out of the corner of my eye. So this area here, originally, this was supposed to be a starlight uh, waypoint or a starlight teleporter. And it is still in the plans. It is still uh, something that we are planning on doing to turn this into a um, starlight waypoint. Question is... How am I going to do that? You see, the Starlight Waypoint teleporter things are very finicky. They're, these are them, the Celestial Gateways. They're very finicky. They're kind of cheap, all things considered. I mean, we definitely have everything we need to make Nocturnal Powder. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've got some lying around somewhere. But as it says in the book, Starlight Gateways, Celestial Gateways, they require direct access to the stars to function. They're not designed to be built underground and while there is i think i've shown this off before but while there is a command if i do slash game rule uh starlight maybe no it's uh no 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 wait i mean yes as ignore skylight check if I was to put this to true, if I was to do as ignore skylight check and then true, I would be able to use this underground no problem. But the thing is, I really don't want to do that purely because I want this to be... Oh, hello. I'm glad I saw you. But as I was saying before I was just given a heart attack, I don't feel like it would be fair or I, I just... It gives me a weird feeling to know that this would only be usable by changing the way the game works. So instead, what I'm pla what I was originally planning on doing was opening the skylight. Uh, th but then I added the fountain, and then I added the um, st celestial altar. So I'm not really sure how I want this to work anymore. That aside, though, we can figure that part out later. Okay, I need to fix that at some point. So what these were supposed to be, if we come down here, just, just follow me down here. These rooms were supposed to be... Um, not quite storage rooms, but they were supposed to be like experiment rooms in a sense. So, for example, later on in the Starlight, uh, in the Starlight mod in Astral Sorcery, well, actually, I can't find it in the book, but you basically have this part where you have to use mirrors and stuff to make giant sort of starlight shapes. You have to make images of the constellations and i figure maybe i could use one of these rooms to store all of the constellations or maybe i could turn each of these rooms since there's four on this floor into the different stages of uh starlight crafting also because after all this place is supposed to be a college which means you are supposed to learn so maybe i could turn it into like a classroom style thing you know um, but before that, I think for now, I might just have to start going around and putting some torches down because I don't like mobs spawning in my base. Now again, these torches are just a temporary fix. Eventually, I'm going to try and look into ways I can light this area up without having to have torches. I might even go down the route of using the, uh, I, I, I want to call it Nitor, because it reminds me of Nitor from Thalmcraft. Uh, but the Astral Sorcery equivalent of Nitor. What, what was it called again? Illumination powder, this is it. I might use, I might just use some illumination powder. But for now, I just need to get this place lit up. Admittedly, as much as I hate the look of torches, this place does look a little nicer now that I can see, and I'm not under fear of being killed every time I'm here. And I think with those two torches uh, placed down over there, those last two torches, that is the entirety of this uh, floor of the base lit up. It now looks ugly as sh It now looks very ugly uh, because of all of the torches, but at least I'm not going to get my butt kicked every time I come down here. Now, to fix the second issue that I'm having with this room, that for some reason... Uh, half of the lights in the wall have not only reverted from illuminant pink, block, pink blocks inverted to regular just inverted illuminant blocks, 
Uh, but they're, they're missing their texture because I kind of had to change the texture for a roleplay bit a couple of months back. So let's quickly just grab this thing here and then let's go and EMC some and then replace the broken parts. Or not because my game is crashing because uh, it genuinely just can't handle uh, being alive. Which is, you know, relatable because this game makes me not want to be alive. Okay, now that I'm back from the crash... Let's fix these lights. Here we are. It's on this page here. So the Celestial Gateway, we already looked at the recipe earlier. And by all accounts, it's actually very simple. We have some stardust in those chests. We have enough gold, trust me. We've got the ruined marble. We've got the glass lenses in the chest upstairs. All we need is the nocturnal powder. Now, the nocturnal powder requires illumination powder and any form of black dyeing substance, be it an actual black dye, a black dye plate, uh, charcoal or coal, and some blue dye. Now, the illumination powder is just glowstone around an aquamarine, and I believe... Yeah, this requires minimal starlight, so this should be very easy. Let's go grab ourselves the glowstone and the aquamarine. Unfortunately, I might have to leave that hole there for the time being, just until I can get an actual way to go down. There we go. We've got some blocks of glowstone here, so let's just collect one. Let's place it down, and then let's break it, and that gives us only two dust. Let's... Let's grab another one, shall we? And strike two. There we go. That's the four glowstone dust. And we have all the aquamarine we could ever want in this chest right here. So if we bippity boppity excuse you around this, like one, two, three, and four, all we now have to do is wait for nighttime. You know, I'm considering replacing the illuminant columns with some more starlight-esque stuff. Because as nice as this looks... It doesn't really fit with the starlight theme, does it? This is way too technical. Maybe, I, maybe I'll just put like an, a, 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 what is it? An illumination powder on top of these. Um, or maybe I'll find a way to replicate the base and then just put uh, an illuminant powder in place of the illuminant block. I may or may not have gotten tired of waiting for night time. So, uh... there we go. Let's just uh, fast forward time for a second. We can put that back in our bags now. And there we go. 16 aluminum powder. So, let me grab my resonating wand. And there we go. 16 illumination powder. Just to see what this looks like. What if I... There we go. I think that looks quite pretty. I still don't know if I want to keep it on its own there. Or if I want to, like, put it there and then replace the stem for now i think it looks fine you know what i might do because you can dye these is i might try and get myself i might try and find a way to dye this either white blue or purple to fit with the starlight theme i think that would look a lot better um but i might have to research how to do that first because i don't actually know either way with the stars still in the sky we can now move on to the second step of making the celestial gateway which is making the nocturnal powder so we have everything we need just not on us so we're gonna have to be very quick about moving around to get the stuff i was about to run and dig myself downstairs to get to the waste and then i forgot i've moved it for ease of access oh this is so much nicer well then it would appear that the world has stopped working temporarily. Um, I don't know how else to describe falling through reality. I just know that this, this really shouldn't be happening. Um, uh-oh, this really, this, this really isn't good. Yeah, so funny story. The server just crashed, which is interesting. Looking at the server log, let's see, what did this? What messed up the server? Judging from the crash log, it was something to do with a bunch of workers failing, tombstone failing, rats mod pathfinding failing, skins failing, just everything failed. Computer craft, uh, spark. Yeah, it's basically listing everything. It was like one giant catastrophic failure. Let's reboot the server. Okay, so that was the first time the server's ever crashed in that specific way before. And part of me really hopes it's the only time it ever does that, because if it keeps doing that, then we've got a serious issue. 
and I don't need any more of those. Right then. I've forgotten why I came here. Do I even want to know why you're sideways and missing your drives? Do I do I really want to know? So there's the blue die. Christ alive. And there's the black die. Only downside is we've only got two, but you know what we don't only have two of? Condensers! Unfortunately, the sun is rising. However, since I can literally just turn back the flow of time, that's not too big of an issue. So give me the illumination powder. Actually, no, we need the illumination powder in there, don't we? Then it's the blue die at the bottom, and then bam, 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 with the black die, and that should give us the nocturnal die. However, because time is being a bit of a baby we're just gonna have to quickly click this into rewind mode to uh bring back the night sky there we go then all i'm gonna do set it to fast forward mode stick it back in my backpack and now why 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 what did i do wrong no this is the correct recipe blue dye illumination powder and then black dye. Blue dye, illumination powder, black dye. I've done it right. Why is it not why is it not working? You know what? Let's bring it back right to the peak of darkness. Watch this. Watch as it comes back up. You know, that's kind of concerning that it still hasn't appeared. Did I really do something that wrong? How do I mess up a recipe that badly? D uh, did I do it? in like the wrong crafting table starlight required starlight crafting altar celestial altar minimal so why why is it not working what did i do wrong it's it's right there blue dye illumination powder black dye i don't understand what i'm doing wrong does it want specifically coal is it just not gonna accept black dye i, I don't get it i mean if it wants specifically coal i can go get specifically coal but it seems weird that it would advertise that it can do it uh, using black dye and then not let me. My backpack! I wondered where this little guy had gone. It's got my blood orb, my dark matter, and my mob imprisonment tool. I wondered where that had gone. I've been looking for that for ages. And my attunement altars in here. And my starlight infuser. And my ritual pedestals. And another dark matter pedestal in Watch of Flowing Time. All of the stuff that I needed to set up that I just haven't yet is in here. And it's still not working. What? Does it want a mix? Does it want a mix of all of them? Does it want charcoal too? I, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? The only thing that I've yet to change is to swap the blue dye for lapis. But if it's shapeless, like it shows it to be... Actually, yeah, hang on. It doesn't even give lapis as an option. It is just blue dye. I... I what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> well, most if not all guides I have found for this say that it uses lapis at the bottom, even though that's not in the book. Where, where's my book? Even though it's not in the book and it's not one of the optional recipes, it's either a blue dye plate or blue dye. Let me check just enough items, just in case. So, nocturnal powder. Yep, even this one says that it uses blue dye. The only thing I can think of is maybe it just wants a regular luminous crafting table? But even then, why? I have like three tiers above that and it should still work in this, right? I'm, I'm not going crazy, right? Screw it. Let's test both. Okay, turn the log into planks, turn that into a crafting table, and then bippity-boppity-boo the crafting table. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I need the collector crystal, don't I? It's been a long time. There we go. Oh, I've still got all of this crap to move to. I completely forgot about this stuff. Uh, my chest monster is going to be a little bigger than I gave it credit for. And we've got coal! I didn't have to go on a long manhunt to get it. It was right here the whole time. Wow, we have so much sooty marble up here. We have so much sooty marble and stardust. Oh my god, we have too much stardust. Oh, would you look at that? My setup's still here. My mirrors and my collector crystal, and more importantly, my luminous crafting table. So, let's try this again. Blue dye, coal, 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 illumination powder. And now I need to wait for nighttime. Wait, what are those chests? I only just noticed those. Hang on. Right, it's about to turn night. Let me quickly just check what... Are these my original loot chests? They are. They've got my lightning spell wands in and everything. I have so much crap just scattered around. My astral relays are in here. How do I forget that I just have all of this stuff? All right, either way, nighttime is upon us, so... Still nothing? Still... Still nothing. That's great. That is, that's... That's, 
So great. Okay, well, if it doesn't work in here, the only thing we've got left to try is lapis. We, we've just got to get some lapis. There, there is no other option left. I don't know what else it could want. You scared the hell out of me. Okay, so our last uh, chance, basically, for this to work is to swap the blue dye out with Lapis Lazuli. And if that doesn't work, well then... We're, we're kind of scarpered. Oh, and the game's crashed. Great. Thanks. So uh, we're back on the server now. We've just uncrashed and the recipe still isn't working. And I still don't know what I'm doing wrong. The only thing I can think of, the only last thing I can think of that could potentially be it, is if I go into the Celestial Gateway and to the Nocturnal Powder, it wants one of each. That is all I can think of. I don't think it is, because the fact that it's shifting like this shows me that it's shapeless crafting, but it's the only other thing I can think that it might be. I genuinely don't know what it wants from me. I'm doing everything right. Well then, if that's not going to work, we kind of can't finish the goal of today's session. Just because the, the crafting recipe doesn't work. <laughs> There's nothing more to it. I have done everything right. And it's just not working. I, I've never in my life ever related to something so hard. I have done everything, everything right. And it's still just not working. All right then, well, to make sure that this episode isn't a total waste of time, let's see if we can find something else to do very quickly before I end today's session. Technically, I have about another hour or so's time to record things, but as you know, I don't like making these videos long, so that means we gotta find something quick. I've just realized that I have been paused throughout that entire explanation. I have no idea what I recorded, and I have no idea what I accidentally missed out. So... You are not welcome right now. You are never welcome. Go away. Don't come back or I'm going to kill your entire family. Right, then as I was saying, since I was paused throughout that whole explanation, I don't actually know what I missed out on. So just to very quickly go through what I've got planned. So since the crafting recipe for that, uh, for the uh, astral gateway or the uh, relay or whatever it's called, the celestial gateway isn't working, what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to start the process of converting each of these outside temples into its own step along the crafting timeline. So what that means is in one of them we'll just have the basic luminous crafting table, in one we'll have the starlight crafting altar, and in another we'll have the celestial altar. And then in the center, so once we upgrade this one, we'll have the iridescent altar. Simply because this is supposed to be a college and colleges are there to teach. Now the entrance, it's not really much of an entrance at the moment, but the entrance to Ancrea is here. So if I use this as the starting position and I look at it from this angle, then that would be the far side. And I think it would be best to do one, two, and three maybe in, in terms of the steps. Or would it rather be one, two, three? And then that's like the uh, guide, I guess. I'm not really sure how I'd want to lay this out. Actually, you know what? Why am I using a sword? America. Rah. I'm just thinking it'd be better if I could have one in each of them, but then I'd have no iridescent altar in the center. Then again, I suppose if I didn't have the iridescent altar in the center, I could use the center for the celestial gateway. That's not a bad idea. Okay. I don't know if I like it, but it's certainly an idea. That way, I could go basic, and then I could go... Uh... S second mo- no. One, two, th no. If I wanted the most complicated one to be there, then what I'd do is I'd go counterclockwise, maybe? No, because the entrance is here. Hmm. Yeah, so it's nowhere near finished, but if you imagine there's some way to get up onto the college through here, you arrive 
You walk in, this is the first thing you see. Ignore the teleportation pad. Do you mind? Ignore the teleportation pad. And you arrive here, right? If we want the iridescent altar on the far side because it's the strongest, then we'd want the basic one here? Maybe? But then again, when you walk into a college, you don't have... A, you don't walk in through a classroom, do you? So what if instead we used this area? We used this area for the Celestial Gateway. And then we had basic, intermediate, and advanced. No, basic, intermediate, advanced, and then ultimate in the center. Or would we go ultimate, advanced, intermediate, basic? I think I'd go advanced, intermediate, thingy, and basic. Okay. Right, we've got a plan. One that we can actually do. So let's get to it. Now, since this one is supposed to just be teaching the basics, all I need is quite literally a basic crafting table so let me go and grab the one that i abandoned in the chest earlier and then what we're gonna do since um this one kind of needs the collector crystal to be transmuted is we're gonna steal this one and then we're just gonna make a new one and then i think that should just yeah begin the process automatically there we go so beyond the collector crystal the luminous crafting table doesn't actually require anything else to function and we can actually give it our own collector crystal once we get to the stage where we start crafting them as you can see we've got uh, attuned ones here with a lot more constellations than i remember there being you can't make an unattuned one but as i was saying that i just had a really devious thought i am begging you please let this work no <laughs> Oh, that would have been so cool if that would have worked. Okay, yeah. So these things aren't... You can't pick them up. You can only destroy them. I thought maybe I, I'd, I'd been smart about it. I've just had another smart-ass thought. Give me a second. I am begging you, please work. No! <laughs> oh, I thought since it worked with spawners, it might have worked with the crystal. Ah. Never mind. It's worth a shot. All right, well, until I can figure out a way to cheese the game to let me move that, or until I can get to the point where I can craft my own, that one's an Evariso, um, then we're, we're, we're just kind of going to have to kind of leave this one as is. It's not the best, but it's also literally tier one. Um, so, yeah. This one is done! On to tier 2 now, the one after the luminous crafting table is the starlight crafting altar. A bucket of liquid starlight, a crystal, some marble pillars, and some chiseled marble. Now, there is a certain, uh, thing you have to build around this one. Here it is. Yep, seems easy enough. Let's... actually, do we have any spare rock crystals? No, we don't. Right, I'm gonna go have to grab a rock crystal very quickly, and then I'm gonna set it up so yeah two for two let's get going and there we go so yeah that's everything this should be set up correctly i i think it is uh the easiest way to check yep it's set up correctly um i don't know if you remember if you've been following the series or not but if they're not set up correctly they get like a red bar underneath so for example if i take this out yeah red bar and then if i add this in completed structure. So, that was uh, step one. This was step two. Next one we have to make, we've already got right here. So, what I'm going to do, since obviously that one is also still currently occupied by the Starlight Generation Machine, is I'm going to wait until we're ready to upgrade. Then when it's time to upgrade, I'm going to replace this one with the iridescent altar, this one right here, and then I'm going to make this one again and put it there. And by the time we've upgraded this one, we will be we will have moved that already, because trust me, it's not staying there for long. But with all of that said, I believe we've reached the end of today's episode. Because, I mean, ultimately, we're, we're done for the day. We, we've finished everything that we could do. I mean, everything else that needs to be done is going to take a lot of work and prep between episodes. Not to get stuff, but just for me to catch up 
and remind myself where we were in the mod because I'm going to be honest, it's been a long time since we've actually gotten stuck into the Astral Tome and done some space magic. It's mainly been building for the past few episodes. Um, so I need to brush up on my astral sorcery knowledge, because remember, I'm still learning alongside you lot for this stuff. Half of this, I'm still very confused by. I learn as I go, and I do that by looking through the wiki and looking through tutorials in between episodes so that I can bring you my own version of that guide, or at least I can attempt to do that. Which is completely normal in how every other episode of anyone that does like mod reviews works but for some reason saying out loud makes me feel incredibly guilty even though i've done nothing wrong and this is how it works for everybody maybe he's right maybe i do have issues either way since we're done with everything that we need to get done today uh in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to work towards either a figuring out a way to move that collector crystal you know the one that's down there through all of that stuff either b which is figuring out why we can't craft nocturnal powder and then figuring out a way around it and if there isn't one, just cheating it in. Wing wing, nudge nudge, because, I mean, what else am I supposed to do if the crafting recipe doesn't work? Or C, we're going to look into creating our own crystals using uh, space magic. So, uh, figuring out ways to make our own attuned crystals, or at the very least an unattuned one, or how to make our own celestial crystals, because we need celestial crystals in order to advance to the next step of altar, the iridescent altar. We have resonating gems, we just need the celestial crystals. But all of that is for next episode. So, if you've liked what you've seen today, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to comment what you thought about today's episode, or what you think about the series in general, or what you think about me, because I love hearing people talk about me. And if you really enjoy my content, then make sure you remember to subscribe to be notified whenever I upload, which also means ringing that little bell, because YouTube is kind of slow like that, and they thought they needed to introduce a feature that does the same thing as the subscribe button used to. Then again, that's old news. Everyone sort of griped about that already. But, yeah, so, end of the video. In case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you in the next one, shitloads. Bye-bye.